Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be continuing the, well this is going to be the last part of the waterproof quad build. Today we're going to be doing the camera here and the other side of the flight controller. However, I'll skip that because I mean it's just, we've done a bunch of coding and it's just going to waste all of our time. So everything, I plugged everything in, everything is working. So what's left to do now is just to do the camera, get it ready, figure out the best way and we should be good to go. Now I don't remember if I coded this guy. But um, yeah, I'm also going to have to coat this guy as well here. And um, I will add hot glue on this area. I have the hot glue running right now. So we're going to be doing that also. Uh, but I think I'll do that by myself over there. But today we're going to do the camera together because it's a bit more, in a way, more complicated, really. So I got a little vise here to hold it in place, sort of. And um, what I figured out the best way to do is actually I'm not going to use any conformal coating um, as of right now. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to remove this connector. And we're just gonna just hot glue the shit out of it. That's it. That's what I'm gonna do for the first step. If it burns, then we come back and we put some. We're just gonna keep going through different uh, iterations until we get the perfect way to waterproof it. I'm just gonna go just full blown stupid with the hot glue gun and um, see how it goes. So uh, what we're gonna do now is I'm, I'm actually gonna remove the connector here. So uh, that's one thing I'm gonna do. So what I have planned to do actually is uh, I'm gonna bring my heat gun. Because I really don't want to ruin or strip anything. Well, not strip, just ruin the PCB. So I really don't want to ruin the PCB in there. Because it's very sensitive right now. And I kind of don't want to take any crazy risks with it from first shot. So maybe this might prove to be good. So you got to be careful with the sensor here. Alright, this is the Chinese clone. I'll leave a link down below uh, for this guy. So this is the bottom side here. So it's going to go in like so. All right. All right. So what I'm planning on doing is I'm going to get my hot air gun and I'm going to basically hit this plastic part and just try to remove it. Basically, I just want it to melt a little bit and just stop hanging to those pins right there. We're going to pull it off and then we're going to solder our wires that are coming out of our um, quadcopter to it and then um, just start hot gluing it. We'll probably even add a little conformal coating here and there. But I'm just afraid for it to drop down into the uh, lens area uh, because that part is a bit pretty sensitive, really. So let me prepare the hot gun and uh, let's see how we're going to do this. I've never done this before, uh, removing just the plastic with the hot air gun. So I think it should be pretty interesting. So let me get that ready and I'll be right back. All right, so I did a quick test run to grab the basically the uh, plastic piece with and uh, try to pull it up. And um, I didn't like what happened because the whole PCB came out and we really don't want that. So what I'm going to do is just going to add screws here, that screws that won't hold anything for some reason, while it's like this. That's strange. Oh, I know why. Wow. I think I realized it. So, we need, this is the bottom, so it goes in like this, that's why. Alright, and I'm going to grab it from this side, so... We don't have anything obscuring our view. And get the hot air gun ready. I have it on set to, I think, 259 degrees. I don't know if that's going to be good enough or not. But I think it should be plenty enough to get it going here. Okay, so it won't reach. So we have to move all of us here. All right, so I moved everything. And we are going to try to start melting it from the top down here, just like so. Trying to melt, I see it melting from the top. So we're gonna try to yank it, and there we go, it's kind of going through here. There. there we go. Perfect. It's exactly what we wanted. So let's just take a look at here at it here. So I'm gonna move this back. Alright, so let's just take a look here. Okay. As you can see, I kept the pins. This is exactly what I wanted. So I could just solder straight to the pins here, and we could use some conformal coating on them. Should be pretty good. Um, and then we'll just hit it with hot glue. So I think that should be pretty good here. So we're going to hit it with some... Hmm. Let's just remove this for right now because it's too tight. I'm afraid I might crack something in there. 
All right, guys, so what we're going to do now is uh, we have here, this is going to be our 5 volt for coming from the flight controller. White is our video and the black is our ground. And if you kind of lost orientation here, what's so cool with this Chinese one is it tells us 5 volt ground video. So the first pin is 5 volt, the second pin is ground, and the last the one before the last pin is video. So let's add a little bit of solder on this guy. And um, we get started. So let me just pair everything here so you guys can see. All right, so we're going to begin by adding solder to these pins, which is going to be, it's going to prove a bit difficult. So hopefully we can do this just fine. And yeah, we, you know what, because um, I think these are not even, you see that? They could come right off. So these are not very well held together. So I think we're going to actually remove the pins now. So good thing we've actually just tested this. So. Let's grab ourselves some tweezers and we'll just might as well just remove them but we still can. So let me just make sure I grab one good. There we go. Okay, we got one. Clean up this guy. Let's grab the other one. So I'm tending to grab it from the top and then just heating up the bottom. You can do it the other way around also. That works, but try not to hit anything. So we need the vise to hold better because it's just slipping like crazy. So let me do that real quick. All right, so like this, in theory, we should be good to go. So I'm just gonna hit these pads again here and just see. This one's sort of coming out now. Yeah, it's wobbling. There we go, we got one. Now we have two, and now we need to get this guy here. Hopefully the camera stays in focus because it's very difficult for me to there we go. There's another one. And there's another one. I should clean this off. Okay. And I do highly recommend we also check the other side of the board and then we just take a closer look inside. Alright, so now we just have to clean it up a little and then we're going to take a closer look make sure we didn't get anything on the other side of the board. So that's something to make sure of and double check. So let's just zoom in here with the camera, see if we got any splashes or anything anywhere else. So as I can see right here, we have a splash, but it's not going to really make a big problem. And um, yeah, the zoom is not so well, so maybe I should do it by hand here. Do a nice zoom right there. Should keep the quality just fine. All right, so as I can see, I see it here, but that's totally fine. That ain't gonna affect nothing here. So I really don't care. Here we don't see any bridging, so that's good. And um, see if anything jumped like between these two or between those two while we were trying to remove it or we pushed something out of the way or popped anything. Everything seems pretty solid. Yeah, everything seems pretty good. I don't think we touched anything. It gave us enough clearance here, so that's a big plus. So let's just take a look at the other side, just to make sure we didn't hit anything. And guys, I'm doing this as a go. I, I don't have anything scripted, planned, or anything. I'm just basically just like a documentary or something. All right, well, that's good. Okay, so let's just move these guys. Come on, buddy. All right. Moment of truth. So, as you can see right there, everything's totally fine. It's going to be difficult. We have to look up here, right there. I don't know why it's not focusing yet, right there. This is where we have to s take a look at. And um, it seems pretty good. I don't think we're gonna have any issues. However, what I do recommend is after we do solder our wires, we make sure, let me just get the orientation correct. Uh, we double check the backside again, uh, just in case if anything seeped through. Uh, we don't want that because that's, that's bad. Let's do this together. It's a bit difficult without melting the, um, like this. Dirty solder. I hate dirty solder. Okay, perfect. Okay. 
Okay. So let me just clean that up and I'll be right back. All right, that was quick. It's pretty clean now. So let's get started. So we first one we said was five volt, and we're gonna get our five volt wire here, which is coming straight from the flight controller, um, the Maytek F405, I think. No, the H HLRC F4 flame. Sorry, I'm tripping on that last build. All right, and this is bent. That's not good. All right. So let's just add a little solder to this guy, and then we're gonna trim it a little bit. All right. All right. I think we should trim it a little bit more. Right about there should be perfect. All right, so and it's totally fine. This isn't. We're not gonna have to worry about when we put this back on because it's not a hole, so we can just like push the wire. And we should be totally good there. All right, so let's put this guy in now. I'll try to zoom in for you guys, but it's getting very difficult on me now. Make sure the tip is clean. This is very important. And don't use the same tip as me. Um, just use a small tip, then um, you'll be good to go. All right. Perfect. There we go. We have five volt. Let's get ground now. No, I can't move it anymore because good thing I left these wires long. It would have been an absolute pain to do these. So let's try to do everything on camera for you guys. Okay. Let's add a little solder to this guy. Alright, so we've gone ahead and added solder to both wires, so we just cut time here. I'm pretty sure you guys kind of know how to do that now. So the black is ground, and just for reference again, let's just double make double check doesn't hurt to double check anything so yeah 5 volt as you can see there ground video so we need the black wire grab our favorite tweezers prepare the wire here try to do everything on the camera okay now I'm gonna come in with my weird angle of execution here okay make sure the tip is clean very annoying sometimes. Okay, should be good. So we need that right there. The phone's in the way, or the camera. It's actually my phone. I was recording on my phone. I think we got that in perfect. Yeah, but we melted this a little bit. But, you know, that's fine, as long as I didn't pop off a component, which uh, basically got disintegrated, then we're good. This is how I see it, and um, we're so good, so it's a big plus. So let's do the video wire, and I'm going to do a quick test and see if everything's working. So make sure it's on camera for you guys, and I might be doing, some of you might think I'm the stupidest guy alive to do it this way, but this is what makes me happy, and I'm going to do it this way, and I always say do what makes you happy, as long as you don't hurt anyone, then you're, you're good, if you're hurting someone and it makes you happy, then um, I think you have problems, fucking phone's in the way, no, did some pop off, god damn it, This is a pain. All right, so the black's in, second time. All 
All right, so all of them are in. Uh, I'm not very happy with the white one, but if I can pull on it and it doesn't come off, I'm satisfied. Perfect. All right. So now we have a camera in. And I'm just gonna put the back cover on for a little, just a bit now. And just double check my focus before we start actually um, hot gluing everything in. So let's just see, will this allow me to close it? Yes, perfect. Okay, so I'm just gonna quickly power it on and see what's up here. So, my goggles. All right, so it's perfect. I am getting beautiful feed. It's awesome. All right, great. Okay, we have that, we have those, the amps, everything, OST is working. Hell yeah. So everything is awesome, everything's working, it's focused. Um, I was worried because some of them I did do change the lenses every once in a while. And uh, if we super glued it, it would have been a pain. So let's see, what are we gonna do now? We're actually just gonna start super gluing it. That's it, that's what I'm gonna do. Make it like a super glue um, cover for it in a way. You want to call it that way? Okay, so super glue is prepared here. So let's actually, I'm just gonna put the, I'm gonna skip over me putting back these screws here, and then we'll come back and we'll just start super gluing. Sorry, I don't know why I kept saying super glue. I meant hot glue. I don't know what the hell's wrong with me today. All right, so what we're gonna do is first we're gonna do this here. I think I think we're gonna do the inside of this all around here. Um, so let's just get that started with here. And the wire does not reach, or does it? Somewhat reaches, but not really. Okay, move this guy. All right, so we're gonna start with this hole here because I don't trust it. So there we go, we got the hole. All right. It's not gonna be the best super gluing job in the world but it'll get the job done. If I can fly in the sky, in the rain, I'm happy. So we're gonna do this here. I think this is very important to be sealed. Just try not to get it on the lens or you are basically screwed. And we don't want that. Okay, so. All right. I'm gonna drop it real quick to remove this crap. And this crap. All right, so so far it's going pretty well. It's nothing special. It's very difficult to make sure I'm on camera at the same time. Do it very nice. Sorry if the camera's out of focus, but um, I really want to get this kind of right. I don't want to go get another one. Just basically waste the camera. All right, so I think this is going to be pretty good right now. So let's just let this just dry off real quick, and then that over there looks pretty good. I might submerge it into. I don't think it's submerging it is smart because rain is just rain. It's raining drops. I'm not going to be flying in puddles right now, so. Uh, maybe the next step we'll see if we can make it totally waterproof like even go underwater So that'd be pretty crazy. So let this dry real quick and I'll be right back once it dries and then we we'll see what we can do from there All right, so I think it's pretty much dry. Um, it seems like it's dry. It came out pretty nice I really did like it. We didn't get any on the lens um, So I'm satisfied with it. So let's just put it that this is dry already um, It's just hot glue so it's pretty nice seal, I would say. Now, I don't know if it'll go in through this, but we'll figure it out as time goes on if it ever burns out on us. And um, now what we're going to do is we're going to do this side. So let's just get the hot glue gun and let's do it. So let's just zoom out here. I think it's better. Oh, 
fuck, that shit's hot. Sorry for my language, guys. But, um, yeah, I did something pretty stupid. Alright, so we're gonna start with the connector here. Okay. Now we're gonna have to do the edges. thought a little bit earlier to move these kind of I always think too late sometimes it's not good we'll come back and hit those or we'll just do it now we're just gonna seal the hole back I think it's best Getting weird bubble formations that just pop and then basically leave an area undone. I'm just gonna leave it down for a bit now. There's a little spot that I missed. All right, so let's just take a quick look at it. It still hasn't dried, and um, I'm pretty much satisfied. Except here, we missed a spot. Show you real quick, right there. That we're gonna have to retouch that right now, and that corner right there. I don't like that corner. Um, bubbles are tending to pop up and then just leave out like a, an opening. Hopefully it'll still work after this. So let's just get this here so we can take a better look now. And this, like this, is going to be good. Alright. So I'm going to turn this because we're going to hit that part up here now. Let's just do that together. Oh shit. Clean that. I think that's good. I think that's good also. And down here. Down here seems good. We'll just add a little bit more. Doesn't hurt to add a little extra here and there. And I think we're good now. What do you guys think? I think it's very good. Alright. So the bubbles that are forming, I'm really not liking. But um, we'll see right now. Here. Oh no, here. We don't, I don't like this here. This needs to be touched again. I don't want it to prove to the size because it might cause us some issues. Okay. <laughs> Alright, well. I think that's all we could really do now. So I'm just put this guy there. Okay. And here. So let's take a look at it together now. Um, so far I see it's very good. I mean, I don't think there's going to be any water going in unless they go in through these holes, but those holes should be pretty good covered once we add the, um, what is it? The screws in to hold it in place. Everything else seems pretty well done here. Um, I don't see any openings. I don't see any bubbles popped up and made like a little hole. So it seems pretty good. Uh, here, I'm satisfied with this also. When it dries, it's very ugly, but, I mean, who cares? Just, it's going to get the job done. 
and basically protect our investment. All right, so yeah, I should not put it like this. So I'm just gonna let this dry real quick and then we're gonna test it out. All right, guys, so I did test it just now and everything's working perfect. The covering is absolutely beautiful. There's no holes and uh, I'm very satisfied and I'm very happy. And now all we need to do is just test this guy and we'll be testing him very soon on the channel. So right now I'm just currently checking if the wires are good here. And they seem they are. They seem that way. They seem pretty good. Um, it should be pretty well covered here. So hopefully we don't get any leakage and uh, the camera should be protected. And what's left basically to do now is, um, you know, I'm going to leave the connector, the USB connector for now. Um, hopefully it won't mess anything up when we fly it in the rain. And then later on I'll be making some adapter for it, but that'll be later on. So uh, right now I'm just going to get it done. I'm going to just quickly coat this guy and add some hot glue to the antenna here, to the uh, IPEX port, and then just coat the other side of this guy. And we should be good to go, and I should be flying this guy very soon, next couple days. Um, and it should be pretty interesting. Hopefully it'll be pretty cool. And um, we'll see how everything is. So I, everything is still working perfect. I did test them right now. The video feed's going through absolutely beautiful. And time will tell. Um, however, I do have some very high beautiful expectation for this quad. But I just don't want to put them too high. Um, I think it's going to be even even though not just a waterproof quad. I think it's going to be an all around uh, pretty amazing quad to be honest. I know this frame. I love this frame. It was one of the first frames I ever loved. And I have a bunch of them in the house because I love them so much. And um, yeah. And the ESCs, they seem pretty good on the bench testing. Now we'll do the real world testing of these guys. Um, the VTX, it's cheap as hell. So it's very good. Camera, Chinese clone, been using it all my life, not an issue. And uh, the HLRCA4 Flame, I love that board, it's very good. And yeah, well, that's gonna include it for this video, guys. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and code everything, and I'll be co I'll come back again, and then on the day of the flight, or if you guys want, I will do a beta flight configuration from A to Z, or A to Z if you're in the UK. So. If you guys want to see that, let me know down in the comment section. And everything here is down linked below uh, in the video description. So if you want to check out the components, everything here is like under 150 bucks, I think. And it's going to be a beautiful quad. Um, and well, that's it, guys. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.